on any given Sunday, the church receptionist would get phone calls with people asking who's preaching on Sunday and what are they serving at coffee hour? If she didn't say they were serving donut holes, then the phone line would suddenly go immediately silent. People come to church to be fed and sometimes that can be an inspiring word or even a donut hole. Welcome to Sunday Coffee Hour. I'm Stanley Smith. At Sunday Coffee Hour, we talk about everything and nothing. Last Sunday, we talked about Angela Davis, burning books, liberalism, designer toilet paper, the fudgies, having six toes, and being buried in two locations. At Washington National Cathedral, the readings were from Acts and Revelations. We are one and together at the same time in Christ, and Christ is the Alpha and the Omega. At Riverside Church in Rockford, they shared a video of Ronald Reagan speaking about Memorial Day. Soldiers give two lives when they die for our country, the life they were currently living and the future life they never had. At Washington National Cathedral, Randy Hollerith preached about the radical connectedness of all of humanity. He said growing up, his parents would tell him as he headed out the door as a 17 year old on Saturday night, remember wherever you go and whatever you do, it doesn't just reflect on you, it reflects on all of us, your family. That, that sounds like heavy advice to me, especially for a 17 year old. Randy also shared a story about a recent visit to the National Temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Washington, DC. He said they saw many interesting things on the tour of the temple, including the bridal dressing suite, which was dominated by two giant mirrors, one at each end of the room. The tour guide told them the mirrors were not there for vanity, but for the bride. Standing in the center of the room, she can see herself in the endless reflection of all that is behind her in her life and all that is ahead of her. Of all the members of the church behind her and all the future generations that will follow her. I attended a lecture at the University of Chicago this week about how our brains constantly vacillate between accepting and rejecting. Our minds want to accept and at the same time want to reject notions, thoughts, and concepts. We form our concept of reality based on this process. In any given instance, we accept about 50% and reject about 50%. It's very arbitrary. All the world's religions have something to offer. Religion is how we organize our thoughts and concepts of God. And divinity is how God reveals himself to us. God is a phenomenon. We can never understand or know a phenomenon fully. That's what makes it a phenomenon. Religion is something we can understand and have particular opinions about, including our likes and dislikes. We all come to church looking for something greater than ourselves. Sometimes that can be the word of God, and at other times it can be more like a donut hole. Life is more than just being on the call with a receptionist, looking for the answers to all of our questions. It's, it's an experience. And before the line goes dead, we can take a moment to be thankful that God is in the divinity business and not in the religion business. If you would like to join us for our Sunday coffee hour, I will include my email in the description of this video. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.